Spring Chinook Fishing 2022 Part 2. Getting set up here. We're without John today. He couldn't get a kitchen pass. It's, he says he has to work, but we know that's not true. So there won't be any Jimmy Buffett today. Sorry about that. Every other day of the year and I'll be fine. I don't think I'm as bad a singer as John or I'd give it a try. Nobody wants to hear me singing either. Yeah. <laughs> John. Give me oysters and beer. God. <laughs> Good morning. Nice boat. Yeah, I wish it was mine. It's my buddy's. <laughs> yeah, that's a good Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. So what are you thinking, Harry? Yeah, I think so. I agree. Just like last time, I say we do tens off the back, ten ounces, and twelves um, off the side. Okay. Pick a rod and you get you get um, flasher on there. funny I started after a conversation you had asked me about you know high side low side watch a different video see a different yeah you know a different guy doing a different thing it's so crazy on the herring or on, on the herring yeah so you had the bait bait flasher weight up a little bit, make sure that our hearings doing what it should be doing. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. So That's reset funny. the line counter, and then we are at 19 feet. We're at about two and a half miles an hour. I'm gonna slow us down even more. I feel like we're going kind of fast. Yeah, kind of. So let's ahead. give that a shot. Yep. salmon below us right there. Look at that. All right, I'm running. I'm gonna run since I think there's a hook on right now on the turn. Yeah, there's salmon right below us. We just went over. That one might be bouncing. Let's keep an eye on it. You can come up a reel or two. Competition? Yeah, company, I see. <laughs> Hey, those Springfield boys, they're fishing the Jamma by Scapoose. We better get after them. Um, yeah, first rod goes off, you go straight to the rod. I'll get rods, all of them, up. I'm not gonna pull a Risco and Wait, leave a rod did, did in. Did you hear? You could hear him. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna this, leave this one, one out. out. Yep. Oh. I'm gonna leave this other one out, though. It's a nice fish to carry. I can't get this thing for nothing. Uh, famous last words. <laughs> um, yeah. And then uh, 
Yeah, and then we'll just make adjustments as we need to with the boat, and I'll, uh, I'll net it for you. Right. Show the barge. Man, that thing is huge. You got gravel on there, sand on there, different kinds of gravel on there. What's the water temperature? 55.9. So 55.9. And we're at 21 feet. We're running all herring right now. We might switch to 360s with Simons later today, but right now we're just gonna run herring. It's overcast a little bit. Today, check this out. I'm running Hero 5s on the sides, on both sides. I've got my Hero 9 up above. I'm recording with my Hero 10. I've got a Hero 8 on. We lost the net cam. It didn't really work out super awesome last time, so I just went ahead and added that to the, one of the bars on the side just to get some B-roll. Yeah, well, from here, no, I think we're going to be at 22 feet. We've got a couple of 26 feet right now. That's what we're going to do. I don't think we should touch the bottom. Yeah, tail slap. If we wanted, while we're fishing, we could get these rods set up with 360s. Oh man, look at that idea. What do you think? Not six rods at a time, no. I, yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, then that way, as soon as we want to change, we can reel two in and boom. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, and then that way we're not screwing around with it. That's the first screwing around. Let me take this off. Dude, that's a fish, I think. Yeah, it Came off. Came off. Oh, no. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> it was right there. That looked like a nice fish. It was uh, big. It was big. So which one is the cookie on? Oh, pink. it was that pink one. Yep. Oh, shoot. Maybe we should switch out to us. <laughs> Loser! Gosh dang it. Well, I, there was a point where I felt like it got a little, not slack, but like there wasn't quite as much tension. Well, what and happened is I spun. I gave it a little bit of drag, and then I get and I realized it was too much, so I tightened it, and I was still had it on pretty good, but then it just was a few yep. minutes later. Yep. Dang it! <laughs> That's why I think more drag is better than, you know what I mean? Crap. Hold on a second. Let's back up that footage. Initially, I blamed it on the loose drag, but after watching these three camera angles, I realized high sticking the rod over Daryl was probably to blame. That caused a loss of tension in the line, which allowed the fish to throw the hook. Tell me what you think. This one's fighting a lot better. Oh, it came off! Yeah. Should I get up the river of you here? Yeah. Here we go. Oh man, this one's fighting a lot better. Did it come? Oh, it came off! So you live and you learn, but that was pretty exciting in the last. First, was that, is that the first one with a spinner? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in That's the river. Awesome. I mean, there was one out in the ocean, but it was more of a hoochie. Right. We're gonna go for one more pass. It's two o'clock. So we're gonna head down, one more trip through, and then we're out of here. Feeling good about it. Feeling good about it. Yep. Last two raw. I think we're all in. Do you wanna do anything different with anything? I don't think so. I say yeah. we run pinks on the outside, okay. Mexican hats on the middle again. Okay. Speed, I think we're about good. Oh, did you see that? Uh -uh. I don't know if it was a takedown. It went bam. It looks like it's running now. Can I check it? No? I think it's just leaving. Okay, okay. okay. I don't know if it was a hit or not, but man, it's worth taking a look at the footage later. Yeah. One, 38. See, really to do this right, we should have 10 ounces. 12 ounces. Uh, so that way they're further, you know, like that. See that just hit bottom. That way they're they're further apart this way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna reel it in slow. I know it. Gosh dang it. Maybe if I give it a couple of jerks. <laughs> 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 Hey, you know what? This this breakaway was busted or was pulled away. It was. Yes. Remember, this is the one I said. Hey, did you see that? Yep. So it pulled it loose. Something. Whatever it was. You know. So I kind of think I made a couple little errors, maybe by loosening that drag up, maybe gave just enough slack that that thing came unpinned. But regardless, it was still cool. If I didn't hook that fish, you wouldn't be seeing a video at all because usually I just delete it all. Any final thoughts? No, I think it was awesome. I think for my boat, that's the first time that we've hooked a salmon using the 360 right. and the lure in the river. Right, okay. So that was that was awesome. I was super happy. Fish looked good. Um, we were the only boat fishing that whole stretch of river, so I think for us to even get one like that was 
pretty awesome. Yeah, when we got here and there was no boats on the water, I was a little skeptical that we were gonna do any good. So hooking one was better than nothing. We started out with herring, didn't even have one takedown that I can remember. No. And then we switched over to running spinners with 360s, and it was like the second or first trip through. Yeah, I think it was the first, right after okay. that barge. Yeah, anyway, so that was cool. The fish fought a little bit harder than the last one that I caught on our last trip, but regardless. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Now don't forget the three questions. Who sang Jimmy Buffett better? Why did I lose that fish? And was that last takedown a fish or a hang up? Let me know in the comments.